welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. It's Tuesday the 26th of July and thank you as always for joining me today on my weighing results. Before I get started, I just want to say hi, welcome to all new subby friends that recently joined my channel. My name is Stephanie and I am on a maintain journey food optimizing following Slimming World at home. Yes, I am. I started my journey January 2018, weighing 16 stone 9 pound, size 24 to 26. Then I reached my target weight of 10 stone in August 2019 and I'm currently a size between a 10 and a 12. Now with my pyjamas, I like a 12 to 14 because it's all about comfort, isn't it? You don't want to be restricted, you just want comfort don't you really with your PJs you know your slops and whatever so yes yeah, so at the moment I'm maintaining my target weight so all good all good also I want to say thank you to the lovely Shawnee thank you Shawnee I'm hoping I'm saying your name correctly if I'm not I do apologize but thank you so much for mentioning my channel on your channel so yeah so Double thumbs up and a jazz hands for you, babe. Oh, yeah. So, how has my week been? Oh, my God. I've had a lovely memorabilia week. Yes, I have. Lots of memories. Spending lots of time with family. It's just been brilliant. So, Tuesday was food optimising. Yes, it went really well. Stayed on track, you know, with the plan and everything. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I chillaxed. Yes, I mellowed out, you know, it's just, it was just lovely, you know, chillaxing for those two days. Double celebration as well. Last Wednesday, the 20th of July, was Ian's 60th birthday, and then the 21st of July, Thursday, was our 10-year wedding anniversary. So yeah, so totally chillaxing for those two days. Also, before I forget... Myself and Ian would like to say a huge thank you to all of you that wished him a happy birthday and also anniversary wishes as well to us both. So thank you, thank you so, so much. It really does mean a lot and we do appreciate every single one of you. So thank you so much. Mwah, lots of kisses. Mwah, 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 mwah. And air hugs. Can you feel them? Yeah? Can you feel the love? Oh yeah. So... Friday I went back to food optimising because my stomach, well my body actually, it was all aching all over and it's like okay Steph you've had your chillax days now let's get back onto food optimising. I was like yes okay I will. So it's nice you know chillaxing and then you know when your body, well your body knows doesn't it and then you're like okay I've got to get back onto it now. I mean life is for living most definitely you know you've got to live your life and it's nice to chillax but knowing that you've got to get back to food optimizing helps as well with with your journey whatever journey you are following it doesn't have to be slim well it has it could be ww it could be calorie counting it could be keto any sort of journey you just know get back onto it and you're all good to go so yeah so jobs are good in saturday was a 50 50 day that's not me squeaking by the way it's the chair trust me <laughs> I'm not doing that kind of noise. <laughs> Anywho, so over the TMI, <laughs> if you thought that. Um, Saturday was 50-50. We went over to Bolton to spend an evening with our, um, not with our, <laughs> with our family, get the words out, Stephanie, Ian's sister Pauline and our brother-in-law Joe, and they had some friends there too. So yeah, it was just lovely, you know, just a nice evening. There was, um, pasta with chicken and bacon, there's a chilli in the slow cooker, um, some bit of quiche, and a bit, some bit of quiche, a little bit of quiche, so it's a 50-50 kind of day, um, Ian was drinking, I wasn't, I was driving, so yeah, so um, I was really good, yay me, and you shouldn't drink and drive anyway, that's a no-no isn't it, yes, anyway, and then Sunday onwards, back to food optimising. And oh my days, I do feel so much better in myself. I really, really do. But like I said, it's nice to have the chillax times. And making memories is very important. You know, family is very important to me. And spending that time with Ian and our family, yeah, 
it has to be done it has to be it has to be it's got to be done yes it's on the top of the list that's my pretend list yeah anyway so have I tried anything new yes I have however it's not edible no it's not edible but it has got the word food in it so glasses at the ready okay it is oh I nearly dropped it then <laughs> Garnier if I'm saying it wrong I do apologize Garnier Ultimate Blends Smoothing Hair Food, see, food, coconut and macadamia. And it's a three in one hair mask, frizzy and unruly hair. Naughty hair. So it, um, so the little yeses, you've got four yeses, you've got vegan, yes, 98% biodegradable, biodegradable formula, big words, not good, yes, yes to dim dermatologically <laughs> tested <laughs> I'm laughing because it's um yeah I can't say that word <laughs> yes to plant oils and no to silicones for a natural feel so like I say it's a three-in-one um you can either use it as a conditioner a mask or leave it in and I've been using it as a conditioner you can see that okay yeah that's brilliant isn't it I'm still here. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, so I've used it as a conditioner and it's so you just need a little bit and then just rub it into your hands and then just massage it into your hair. So yeah, so now I did this oh I did it on Saturday and it smells smells coconutty. It's lovely. <laughs> so macadamia, is that a nut? <laughs> That's alright, isn't it? Because my son's name's nutter, isn't it? Woo! So yeah, so but it's really nice. I've got this big tub from Home Bargains, it's £3.49. Now there was a smaller tub, it had an oil in, I can't remember what it's called now, um, and that was £2.49, so I thought, you know what, an extra quid, why not, why not? If you've tried a hair mask before, let me know, you know, your thoughts. I've never tried one, this is the first time, I know, I am a virgin to hair masks. So yeah, so it's my first one, so yay me. <gasps> So yes, that's what I've tried. Like I said, it's not edible, but it did have the word food in it. <laughs> Tricked ya! So, with my steps, I've done what I can. I've done what I can. I have done what I've done my best, you know. All we can do is try. And I am very trying. That's what my husband says. Yes, Ian says, you're very trying. Anyway, so we'll go back to Tuesday the 19th of July. I did 12,188 steps. Wednesday the 20th of July, 6,795 steps. <laughs> Thursday the 21st of July, I did 9,326. I was going to say 9,000, 3,000. <laughs> 9,326 steps. <laughs> Friday the 22nd of July, I did 12,627 steps. Saturday, I the 23rd of July I did 5,222 steps. Sunday the 24th of July was a chillax day. I did 2,000 steps. And then yesterday, Monday the 25th of July, I did 8,011 steps. And so far today, I have done 5,047. Let's have a look at my work chipoos. Let's have a look. Yeah, 5,407 steps. So not bad at all, is it really? Not bad. The weather's been a bit, bleh. you know. Last week was lovely, you know, on his birth, on Ian's birthday, it was lovely. We were sitting out in the garden, it was just lovely. There's only eight of us, you know, myself and Ian, Pauline and Joe, and then we had Andrew, our, our son. Our, he's my stepson, but I call, like, call him as my son, and um, his partner Bryony. Then we had our daughter Rachel, again stepdaughter, but I class with my daughter and her partner Leighton. So yeah, it's just lovely. And nice and we had a lovely cake made from our lovely friend Sandra um, Ian's big on ELO so it's just lovely I did do a happy birthday vlog video like photo collage um, up on my channel if you haven't seen it go on over and watch it not now obviously because you're watching me now you know but I'll leave it a uh, link in the description below to that video if you haven't seen it yet so let's go through my diary and then I'll let you know how I got on Okie dokie dokie dokie. So, last Tuesday, the 19th of July, I ended on 11 sins. Wednesday, the 20th of July, 
and Thursday the 21st of July, <laughs> chillax, I was totally chillaxed. You know what, I had so much rice and pasta, so many carbs last week, it's just my stomach was like, whoa, this is just too much. That's why I try and do carbs once a week. I ordered a pizza last Thursday for my anniversary, our anniversary, sorry. Um, Ian had a curry and I had a pizza. Oh God, I couldn't eat all of it. I don't think the pizza dough was cooked properly. So, but hey ho, you know, I mean, I ordered a, a seafood pizza because I love my seafood. So it's a prawns and anchovies. It was just nice, you know, but it's just, yeah, too many carbs, too many. So, um, but hey ho is what it is, isn't it? So yeah, so washed it down with a nice um, Malibu. Or was it a pina colada? I think it was a Malibu and a pina colada combined. Those little cans you can get in Sainsbury's, you get so many for so much. Yeah, anyway, Friday the 22nd of July, Sin Free Friday. Yes, it was, because I went back to food optimising. Saturday the 23rd of July, it was a 50-50, so it was Sin's unknown. So, I mean, I had me overnight Weetabix from a brekkie. Um, then I had a sweet omelette with some mixed berries, that was really nice. Um, and then at Paul and Joe's I had chicken and bacon pasta, quiche, two small slices, chili um, a chili, a chocolate cookie and potato salad. So yeah, so 50-50, not too bad. Um, Sunday the 24th of July, Sin Free Sunday. And then Monday the 25th of July, all together now, Sin Free Monday. Yes, it was. So, and so far today, there's a lot of so's, I've had no sins. No, no sins at the moment. So, let's get back into the results, shall we? Not get back into it, let's just give you the results. Okay, so. <laughs> Notepad at the ready. Now, hello to new subbies. <laughs> I know I've already said hello to you, but I'm a bit of a um, hickety pickety and um, I end up forgetting things. So I'm a bit of a Dory or a Fifi forget me not. We'll go with Dory because I like Dory. You know, find a Nemo, love it. Um, and I tend to have a lot written down on my notebook, book, book, just in case I forget things. And it's a bit of brain frog. You know, I'm going through menopause at the moment, so yeah. So uh, I do apologise if I forget anything, hence I write everything down in my trusty notepad. So, last Tuesday, the 19th of July, I stepped on the scales and I had a loss of £2. And it left me on 9 stone £5. <clears throat> After having two chillax days, a 50-50 day on Saturday, I stepped on the scales and I had a gain of one pound. So, this is week 235. I now weigh nine stone, six pound, and altogether I've lost seven stone, three pound. I am delighted. Yes, I am. So, uh, you know, I've done my best to get back into the swing of things with food optimising and I've done my best, you know. I mean, I did have a little sneaky way in over the weekend and it was over the 10 stone mark. Now, my target is 10 stone and with Slim World, you're allowed £3 above your target and £3 below. Now, my above target is 10 stone 3 and below target is 9 stone 11. Now, I know I'm totally out of my below target, my low target range of 9 stone 11. And, but because I do Slim World at home, I'm okay, I'm fine with it, you know. I mean, obviously, if I was going to a group, then I'd have to try and get back up to my target. But I'm happy, you know. My body's happy where it is, you know. I mean, I was asked the other day if I've got any loose skin. Well, I have got loose skin. I've got, um, and I'm not afraid to show you, you know, if you want to look away, look away now. But I've got some loose skin there. And, sorry for this TMI, but I'm being honest with you lot. And I've got some loose skin around there. However, 
This little baby pouch is where I carry my babies and I'm proud of that. So yeah, so, I mean, it is what it is, you know? I mean, I don't go to the gym, I don't tone up, I don't, I don't do sit-ups, no, no, no. I don't do no running. I mean, even though I do um, race for life, I walk it, I don't run it. Unless something's chasing me, that's the only time I run. Um, I do a lot of walking and I do a lot of um, cycling on my bike as well. So yeah, so, um, but you know, these are my, um, what should we say, scars, you know, proof that I, I've done my, you know, that I'm, I've lost my weight and I'm con continuing with my journey, but maintaining it. Yeah, there's going to be times that I'm going to be having gains, like today, um, probably more, who knows, you know, but as long as I maintain my target, then I'm fine with it. I really am fine with it. I'm happy. I'm finally in my happy place, you know. It's took a long time to get here. I mean, I've been on Slim World now for four years and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, no offence to other plans. I've tried calorie counting. I just, I just can't get my head around counting everything and weighing everything. You know, with Slim World, you could just worry about your healthy A's and B's to weigh them out. And just be mindful, you know, and everything in moderation. And just set yourself little goals and you'll get there in the end. So, yeah. So, I mean, I've tried WW, you know, Weight Watchers. Um, I lost, um, this is years and years ago, I lost three stone in six months. You know, but I find Slim World works better for me. It's better for my lifestyle and it's just yeah it's just brilliant you know it's just a life change it's what well, it's a game changer basically you know i wouldn't class it as a diet though it's just all about having a better relationship with food and not it's not restricted it's just nice guidelines and little and little um i don't know yeah it's not limitations you know just lowering your limit you know not to go too mad yeah you've got your sins you know I mean some people get more sins it depends on their weight and everything but yeah I mean you don't have to have your full 15 I mean I do on a, on um on a Tuesday well it depends how I feel you know but they're there aren't they you can use them within your meals you can you or you can wait until your evening treats you know your snackety snacks so yeah so all good it's all good it's all good all for the greater good the greater good anyway i'm gonna stop rambling on so let's have a look plans for this week no plans for this week oh, i know shocking isn't it shocking oh so yeah so uh oh, yeah wash my hair again tonight with that stuff it's lovely absolutely lovely yeah and i'm getting a little bit gray but I think the third week in August, I'm going to dye my hair. Yes, yeah, so I'm not too sure, either deep red or deep burgundy. We'll see what happens, or reddish brown. We'll see, we'll see. See how I feel. You know, whatever's on offer, really. Because I know Tesco's do a lot of offers with hair dye, don't they? Anyway, stop rambling, Stephanie. Okay, I do apologise. Anyway, let me know how you got on yourselves this week. Whatever journey you are following, whatever works best for you. If it's working, that's brilliant. Just keep going, you know. I mean, just believe in yourself and you can achieve anything, you know. Set yourself little goals, little stepping, stepping stones. You'll be fine, you know. You will get there in the end. So, yeah. So, I believe in you and you should believe in yourself too. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, it's free to do so. Hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos. And as always, keep smiling, stay positive, and take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.